Hello, welcome to this week's How's the Market Pensacola. Hope everybody enjoyed the weekend. Um, just got a bunch of Halloween parties were done. Um, and then, of course, the fair, the Pensacola Interstate Fair wrapped up, which my wife and I went out there yesterday, and that could have been some Halloween parties. <laughs> some of the, um, we'll call them characters, walking around there were uh, interesting. Interesting. Um, but we had a good time over there. It was first time I've ever seen a sea lion show at the Interstate Fair, but... Hey, we got a chance to walk around. Um, I, it was hard not to eat some of that stuff because they're some of the stuff, even though it's really, really greasy, it's like one of those annual things you just kind of want to do. Um, and so that I had a little trouble with that, but I didn't. I was able to get through it, um, suffered through it. And anyways, um, that weekend uh, we wanted to get out there actually on Friday when uh, Starship was there, but thanks to WAR telling us it was going to. St- storm we decided against it and then my wife was actually kind of upset because i think we saw about three raindrops and that was it um so we wanted to go see a uh, band i haven't heard and oh gosh the term decades comes to mind um but anyways hey we're not going to talk about concerts we're not going to talk about the fair we're here to talk about real estate let's go i'm a man on a mission my mission is to help people break through all the noise out there. And Don't need no permission. I want to help you get to actual truth. Permission. Don't you just want the truth? All right, so I always start off with this slide. It says between six and seven months is considered a neutral market. Greater than seven months is considered a buyer's market. Less than six months is considered a seller's market. For those of you, this is the first time you see it. I use this as a baseline, but what this slide does not say. Anything greater than nine months is a hyper buyer's market. Anything less than three months is a hyper seller's market. Here's why I do this. We're going to start with Santa Rosa County this week. And boy, what's going on with Santa Rosa County? Whew. Over here on the left is the number of the list. Over on the right is the month's inventory. So that's why I start off with that first slide. Everything under half a million dollars in Santa Rosa County is a hyper, hyper seller's market. This is almost becoming crisis mode because look at this. This is the most affordable range between 100 or up to about 200,000. These are your beginnings. All right, your first time home buyers. This is the most affordable range right here. And look, 1.2 months worth of inventory, 0.9 months worth of inventory. Now, what is that? Why I say crisis is that means at 0.9 months worth of inventory, if we don't get more inventory, we will be out by Thanksgiving. Done. Nothing in that price point. So, how is someone, <coughs> excuse me, how is someone supposed to be able to buy a property if we don't even have any active? Look, that's only 22 active in that price point. The biggest price point is two to 250. There's 166 active, but the appetite's just so big for it. It's still 2.2 months worth of inventory. So that's just crazy over there. I'm really not quite sure what's going on, but we're reaching crisis mode because this is about the fourth or fifth week I've seen this. All right, five to 550 still considered a seller's market, but nowhere near this. These two are marketing differences. All right, drastic marketing differences. I actually had some clients that I met with this week. They had been listed for a while with a different agent. They called me up and said, hey, we want you to come over and and list the property and sell it. And I said, okay. Well, there's really only two reasons why a property won't sell. Really only two. One, marketing. It's got to be marketed property. You can't just put it in the MLS, stick a sign in the front yard and hope it sells. Two is price. You've got to have your price on point. Some people, because they see this, I'm starting to see this phenomenon happen as well, that they're just pricing it too high. So when I came over and we sat down and we talked, I told him, I said, okay, well, let me go back and do my homework on this and and get ready. And I'll let you know what I think the price should be and what we should do marketing wise. Well, come to find out they had pushed the envelope about $25,000 too high. I said, you can probably push it about $5,000 over, but I don't think you can push $25,000 over. That's just not going to work. And by the way, this was at the 300 and some odd market. It was in Escambia County. So we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but I think we need to drop about $20,000 and then you messed up on this marketing, this marketing, this marketing. And I wasn't really, I, I hate to use the word messed up. I just think it could be improved, much better improved. And there was some stuff that was not there at all. I try and explain to a lot of people, the most searched website out there is Google. The second, YouTube. Why do you not have a YouTube strategy? Why do you not have a YouTube strategy for anything you're selling? I don't get it. I don't understand that. Um, so anyways, um, you have to put that together. And there were some other stuff. There were some great stories about that property um, that needed to be told because of what they were competing against. Um, it was an older property. It was 98, 97. It was when it was built. Older. 
98, 97 was when it was built, but it was, there was a lot of new builds right around the corner. I mean, a ton, and it was all close to the same price point. So you can't just look at the solds there. You also have to look at what's active, what you're competing against. Um, because as a buyer, the buyer's going to look, okay, I can get a house built in 2019, or I can get a house that's built in 97. Okay. Most buyers are going to go with the 97 unless there's a reason why. And that's where the marketing came in. But again, I told them they were also $20,000 too high. And it was funny. As soon as I told them that, they said, well, thank you for your time, uh, but we think you are wrong. And so we are going to go with someone else. And I seen that they come back on the market um, with that exact $20,000 too high. And I wish them the best. I hope they get it. Um, I'm just not one to take a listing that's just going to sit. You know, my clients, I, we, I'm one of those weird real estate agents where I actually, I don't know, sell real estate. Um, and I get the most from my clients. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see on that one. So that was Santa Rosa County. Let's look at Escambia County. Escambia County is 250 to 300. Anything under 300 is considered a hyper seller's market. This three to three fifty has steady gone down too. It's almost a hyper seller's market, okay. But it's technically under our terminology a seller's market. So anything under four fifty is a seller's market or a hyper seller's market in Escambia County. But four fifty to five hundred becomes a slight buyers. Five hundred to five fifty is definitely a buyers. Well, it's a slight buyers, uh, and five fifty to six hundred is a hyper buyers. If you if you remember, we don't see a buyers or a hyper buyer's market in Santa Rosa County. It's not there, all right? That's why I say there's a crisis mode over there because we usually see all of these in one thing. This looks a, a little better to me. It's a hyper buyer's in five to five, or 550 to 600. Back down to six to 650, we're at a seller's. So again, you market something between 550 and 600, totally different market strategy than if I'm marketing between six and 650. That's kind of weird. Now, I, what I don't want people to say, especially after that story I just told you, is go, oh, well, you know, I was at 580, so let's just jump up to the 600 because that's a seller's market. Not if it's not worth it. <laughs> don't do that. Um, and 650 to 700, we're back to a slight buyer's market. And then 700, we're definitely back up to a hyper buyer's market because that's almost a year's worth of inventory in that luxury, um, which is kind of a slower season, uh, especially here towards the end of the year. <laughs> There's a lot of people that have a little bit slower season, but I, here's something I want you to point out. Um, 98% of the list to sale ratio happens between the five and 550, and the 550 to 600, it's 96. So 4% of $550,000 is what, 20 grand, 22 grand? So sometimes if you had something at 560, it may be selling in the 540s. You just got to pay attention to that. Anyways, um, that's what I got for you today, this week. I do want you, however, to pay attention to the Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Shane Willis, the realtor. I have a client event that I'm doing a, here in about six, seven weeks. I've rented a theater for Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. So if you've got any Star Wars fans around here, pay attention to this because I'm going to be giving two tickets away. These are non-clients. So you're going to be able to join our client appreciation event as a non-client See opening night, that's at Thursday night, 6 o'clock. We have no previews, and you get two free sodas out of the deal, too. But the contest is going to be ran over there at Facebook. Facebook.com forward slash Shane Willis, the realtor. Uh, also, if you stay uh, towards the end or if you look at the show notes, I've actually got a couple of links to a couple of free reports. If you're looking to sell or buy in the next 12 months, take a look at the report, then give me a shout. Let's chat. All right? Thanks for watching. Have a great week. I'm a man. My mission is to help people break through all the noise out there and don't need no permission. I want to help you get to actual truth. Don't you just want the truth?